And uh, well, let me ask you this: um, You've also been criticized about um, your interactions with women. Um, seven women accuse you of touching them without their permission. While they didn't say it crossed the line into uh, sexual harassment, they did say that you made them feel uncomfortable. And uh, many have been critical about how you've handled it since the accusations. Even uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi said this. She said, to say I'm sorry you were offended is not an apology. Uh, it's, I'm sorry I invaded your space. Now, you have come out and said, I get it, uh, especially because we're in a different time now. We're in the Me Too mo uh, uh, movement. But uh, are you sorry for what you did? Are you prepared to apologize to those women? Look, here's the deal. I have to be, and everybody has to be, much more aware of the private space of men and women. It's not just women, but primarily women. And, uh, and I am much more cognizant of that. But I am so, like, for example, uh, I actually thought in my head when I walked out here, I mean, <coughs> do I? I know. It's, we're friends. It's tricky. Hug. No, I, but, but, but I have to be aware of it. So I have, to, I have to be more cognizant. We all have to be more. A woman or a man has a right to say, particularly a woman, say, no, this is not my space. And they shouldn't have to say no. I should be able to read better. But I have never in my life done anything in approaching a woman that has been other than trying to bring salt. I'm used to, like, one of your staff was producers, or I'm, who, I'm sure who it was backstage, saying, I remember you're the only guy last time you get up and you walked into the audience and talked to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm used to, I think it's really important we listen. I think those who are elected officials, it's important they listen and understand what people are going through and what they're concerned about and let them know that you know and so I don't think that's old-fashioned or new. I think it's uh, everybody, we, we should be doing that. But I have to be more careful that I walk in, even including whether I sit down next to somebody and it's not invited to, be, to, to sit down. So that's my responsibility. I have to be more, more aware, and it's totally legitimate for someone not to have to say, no, no, don't get in my private space. It's my job. It's my job to read that, no, no, this is space that no one wants me to invade. Yeah. But, I, okay. but anyway, I, I think it's legitimate, and I think it is, uh, and to, 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 to anyone, I, but I don't think anyone's ever said that I invaded their space in a way that was designed to do something uh, other than making them feel uncomfortable, but not mm -hmm. anything having to do with harassment or anything else. Right, yeah. they have yeah. said that, but they have yeah. also said, we'd like an apology. Well, look, I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry if they, what I did in talking to them, trying to console, that in fact they took it a different way. And it's my responsibility to make sure that I bend over backwards to try to understand how not to do that. Now, Nancy Pelosi wants you to say, I'm sorry that I invaded your space. Sorry I invaded your space. I mean, I, I, and I, I'm sorry this happened. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I'm not sorry in the sense that I think I did anything that was intentionally designed to do anything wrong or be inappropriate. It was inappropriate that I didn't understand, that I, mm -hmm. I took, right. I assumed. Look, I, I was, anyway.